My name is William Kerr. I'd like to show you how I drew this. It's my lovely dog, Harry, and he makes a wonderful model. Okay, so here are the tools for this one. We've got a pencil with a, a quite a, a thick lead. We've got a fine liner. This is uni pin. We've got a Spectrum Noir marker, and that is a sort of medium gray. And then we've got this really light gray pen with two sides to it. And that's called a Tombow. Not to be confused with the Trimbo inhaler, because that would be awful. <laughs> it would be much harder to draw this with that. Uh, and then you arrange them in a certain pattern on the page and you end up with with a lovely boy. Thanks for watching my video. Only joking. Uh, here it is. So the drawing has started now, starting in pencil. And I've sped this up 4.5 times. So that's why my hand is moving so quickly. This drawing turned out to be a warm up because I'd made a mistake. I hadn't planned the placement of Harry on the page very well. So what we see is I'd not left enough room for his, his head and his lovely long nose. His lovely long legs fit on there nicely. I wouldn't want to miss those. But the unfortunately his, his, uh, his snout uh, didn't, didn't end up in the, in the frame. But that's okay. I thought, well, I'm going to carry on with it treat it as a warm-up for the, for the main event and in a way every drawing is a warm-up isn't it for the next one as, as long as there is a next one now that's the radiator going in now and that is as far as Harry's concerned the most important part of the drawing I laid in just a little bit of light shadow wasn't really looking at the tone I was mainly looking at the shadow so even though Harry's a lot darker than the bed and the background, the shading here describes the shape rather than the tone and colour. Act 2 also begins with a pencil, but this time I was armed with something more than just graphite. I had the power of hindsight on my side from my failed attempt earlier. Although it wasn't really failed because I learned something from it, didn't I? So anyway, I sketched it out properly. I wasn't beaten by his lovely long nose this time. And I got him all down on the page in a way that I was happy with before continuing. We've had Harry for just over a year now. He likes to sleep a lot and he makes a very good model. He's a rescued greyhound and we named him after Mr. Potter. The drawing's almost completed, in terms of the lines anyway. I was happy with my placement of Harry on the on the page. Got a little bit of the bed there. Uh, I was making sure that I got that in perspective. So you really get a feeling of him lying down on the ground and it, it doesn't look too flat. So in with the grey now. Uh, he's got quite a bony body, like all greyhounds. And that's how, it makes him really nice to draw because you see a lot of the anatomy under the skin poking through. His legs are always exciting to draw and he's got his ribs on show and that pronounced chest. There's the radiator again. I just wanted to suggest it with the, with the gray rather than delineating it with the black line. That makes sure that it's pushed into the background and it's not really competing with the line of his hips, which is overlapping the background. Just to finish off, I added some rough perspective lines to, the, uh, to suggest the floorboards. It gives it just a little bit more perspective and depth and I think it rounds it off quite nicely. So here it is completed. It was a lovely way to spend 20 minutes or so all that remains is for me and Harry to say a big thank you for watching our video.